changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Welcome to the Princess Pat Aquavio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. As you know, things are never what they seem to be. On this particular episode, it's just going to be you and I having a conversation. And let's talk about it. And what I'd like to discuss with you today is love and money. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching Princess Pata Pata Show. What is the place of love and what is the place of money in a relationship? You know that in the society that we live in today, whether you're from the African culture, you're from the Western culture, whatever culture that you find yourself, money plays a vital role in relationships, especially from the African culture where the man has to be seen as a provider. And I'm sure also even in the Western culture, a man has to be seen as a provider. And men grew up hearing that they have to provide for women at every point in time. But the question is, even in the 21st century that we are living in, should money be so important in relationship? Should the man be the only one to be the one to provide or to bring in money into the family? Well, I'll let you take a decision on that because I believe that in every relationship, giving should be as a form of generosity, of love, not a thing that you should be mandated to do. When you love somebody, you can actually give to them. Now, I'm not saying that giving in a relationship is a bad thing. Of course, it's a beautiful thing. After all, love is giving. Love is kind. It's one of the virtues of, of the spirit that when we love, we give as well. And I just want to say that when you see somebody that is so stupendously rich, you have to be careful at it. You can be generous with your money, but you cannot be generous with your love. And this is what I like to discuss with you today. The question that I want you to answer in a relationship is what type of man are you? What type of woman are you? Are you the type of man that waits on a woman to be the one to provide for you? Are you the type of woman that wants everything to be done a certain way by a man for you? Are you a man that just sits down and said, after all, my wife comes from a rich family. She has it going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and get everything that she has and enjoy myself. Are you the lazy type of man or you're the kind of man that goes out to work? Now, what should the function of money be in love, in a loving relationship, in a love affair? Well, if you ask me, what does money do for you? Because money helps in checking insults and solving your problem. That's for me, that's uh, what I see money to be. So in a relationship, money should actually help in solving your problem and of course, checking insult. Because if you don't have money, honey, trust me, you're going to be so disrespected. You're not going to be valued by anybody. But if you have your money and you can share it with people generously, not because you're trying to buy love, people will love you and people will respect you in some cases. But don't make money your God. A lot of people make money to be their God. They don't understand that in a relationship, a woman needs care and so does a man. A man needs to be loved. A man needs to also be affirmed that he is the king in this particular kingdom. All right? And so when I'm talking about love and money, I'm talking about you being real with yourself. In a relationship, in a loving relationship, love shouldn't be, um, providing for the family shouldn't be a 50-50 thing. It should be a 100% thing. When you give to each other, when you love each other, you bring the money in together so that when the other person is missing a quarter, somebody else comes in with it. Love should be independent of money. Love independently of money. Don't make money the reason why you love somebody. It is wrong for you to love a man because of his money. Love because you want to love that man. Love because that woman deserves your loving. Go after somebody that you know that you will love and you will respect. Money or no money. 
Now remember that money has its own place. But what you can never buy with money is true love. True love cannot be bought on the market and on the shelf. You must always make sure that in any loving relationship that you are in, you give it your best shot. You give it your care. You give it your thought. And you give it your everything. When we're talking about love and money, money should never interfere where true love is concerned. Have you seen people that don't have so much, yet they love each other? And they are there for each other at every point in time. And what they just have is each other. And they hope that one day that they will make money. Like I always say, what you don't have today, I'm sure you're going to have it tomorrow. We need to process our feelings as women. We need to process our feelings as men. Don't waste anybody's time just because they are just a, a, a means to an end for you. I don't love you. I cannot be with you. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you can help me, I will take it. I know somebody's going to say, ha, how is that possible? You know, especially if a man has money, he's going to want to have sex with you. And so in order when you give a man sex for money, then he's going to give you the money. How long are you going to keep doing that? How long are you going to keep doing that? Have you not noticed that in the world that we live in, in any relationship that people find themselves, when the money is there, the love is good. The loving is good. And when the money is gone, ha, ha. Love gone down the roof, gone down the drain. Love gone off the roof, the rooftop. Why? Because the woman loved the man because of money. And so when the money is no longer there, <laughs> I pity men who fall victim to women in marriage because of love. Because at the end of the day, when that money is gone, honey, you are going to be going through hell. It is better to go for a woman that loves you truly and not a woman that loves you because of your money. It's applicable both ways. It's vice versa. Whatever you do in this life, I want you to know that you should love independently out. Money shouldn't be involved in it. When money comes, that is love. When money comes and you work together for it, that is love. You don't have to force love with money. And hey, some women might come now on the show and say, huh, that, well, you know, I didn't love him, but he, he just, he, he came. He blinded with, with me with money. He gave me money. Everything was money, 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 money. Honey, you can still walk away from it. I am an advocate that every woman should have her own money and every man should have their own money in any love affair so that giving would not be as a function of I have it, but it would just be the function of I'm generous to the woman that I love. Now, go ahead. Show love. Go ahead and care more. Go ahead and tell somebody, I want to be your knight in shining armor, but I want to do it without that money. You have the money. I'm sure you do. But don't put money to be the yardstick to get love because you're setting up yourself for failure. Let me talk about this other one. You know how people, men use money to control women. Because of that, it makes the woman just have to be, in quote, obedient. That is not submissive. A woman that you are using money to control, men, is just going to be obedient to you. Why? Because she doesn't have the money to do what she wants to do. And that's a terrible thing to do. At the end of the day, honey, you might think that she is being submissive to you. No, darling. She is not being submissive. She's being obedient. The difference between submissive and being obedient is when you are with a powerful woman and this woman has her own money. She's making her own money and she's very comfortable. And then you say, oh, honey, I, I, I wanted you to, um, could you, okay, she wants to travel. Let's take example. She wants to travel and her ticket is already bought. And you come to her and say, sweetie pie, please, I still have something to do for a few days. Could you please stay at home with the kids for me so that when I come back, you can take your trip. And that woman has the money to do it and she stays back at home. That is a summited wife. That is a girlfriend who is summited in the relationship. But when you tell a woman and she's about to go to take a trip and she can afford the trip, you are the one paying for the trip. And you tell her, I don't have the money to pay for the trip. And she stays back from the trip. That is obedient. That is not submissive. And at the end of the day, you are in a relationship with a woman that paraventure, she has the money to take her trips and do things for herself. You will find out that you married a different person. She's a completely different person. Now let's move and talk about the cougars. This women are there. You use their money to get young boys and just to mess up their destiny. Young men, let me talk to you for a minute. 
Listen to me. There is nothing wrong in going out to work for your money. There is dignity in labor. Go ahead and work for your money so that you will be able to fulfill destiny and the purpose for which God created you. Leave these older women alone who use their money to destroy your destiny. Because actually, if you check it out, they are actually involved in some kind of money rituals to actually get money from you use your destiny that at the end of the day you have money but you don't have anything to show for it they are sapping out the fresh blood out of you they're licking the blood out of you they're sucking it out of you that in the end you get married to somebody you don't have kids you start struggling things are not working out for you then you start looking for pastors to pray for you honey you don't have to go that route. There is dignity in labor. Work hard. You work hard for the money. I know you know that song. So hard for the money, so you better treat her right. See, if a man works hard for his money, guess what? He's going to be able to treat a good woman that comes his way right. Now, again, let me go and talk about this young sugar boy. <laughs> The sugar boys of our generations, all right? We know you exist. We know you are there. You don't want to do anything. You're nothing but a gold digger. You are mining the mines. You're in the gold mine looking for money, looking for the woman to make money from, and you're promising them thick love. You're claiming, oh, honey, I love you. Shh, come here. You know you're lying. Stop that. Don't do that again. And at the end of the day, you're going to break somebody's heart when a woman, you know women how we are, we love. When a woman loves, she loves and she give you anything. Then you make all the money from her and then you now go, all of a sudden, you find out she's a whole hag. Are you serious? She's too old for me. I don't want, when you were promising her heaven and earth because you were getting changed from her, you didn't remember she was old? Oh my goodness, come on now, sugar boy, stop that. Cut your coat according to your cloth. Get up from your laser behind and go get a job. Get a career for yourself. I'm sure you went to school. Go do something for yourself. You cannot keep lying to that woman about love and breaking people's heart and taking advantage of them. Remember, you sow. What you sow is what you will reap, and that's the world that we live in. Now let me talk about the slay queens, side chicks. The slay creams and all the creams creams. The all the wannabes that they are not. Honey, you are a side chick and that's what you want. You're trying to contest and compete with the wife in the house all in the name of, oh, I love you. And then you'll be asking, how is your wife doing? How are your children doing? Honey, are you trying to be a second wife or you were a side chick? Or you just uh, <laughs> a slay cream? I mean, because I, I don't know how to call you a slay queen because you're not slaying anything. The only thing you're slaying is that you're using sex and your body to get money from the man. And yes, I know that a lot of the slay queens may not like this particular topic or what I'm saying right now, and that's okay. But the reality is you need to understand that you are nothing but a side chick you ain't gonna be any important to that man sister soldier he's just gonna use you and at the end of the day he's gonna go back to his wife <laughs> love and money honey if you're a slave queen go get a job go get a career do something about yourself to be befitting for the slave queen. Like I always say, I'm not a slave queen. I've never been a slave queen. I don't know how to be a slave queen. I am a queen slayer. That's a difference. We have the slave queens and that's okay. But we also have the queen slayer. And this is a queen slayer talking to you right now. If you're a side chick, it's time for you to get up and do something for yourself and be real about your hustle. There is nothing wrong in being a lady, an Amazon, black, a renaissance woman, or whichever color that you find yourself. You are strong, you could be independent, and you could get it all the way that you want. Well, after all is said and done, when it has to do with love and money, love independently of money, knowing that everybody in a relationship must contribute 100%, not 50-50. I do not believe in that arithmetic. I believe in 100% from the man, 100% from the woman. Now, after all is said and done in this life, I want you to know that money is nothing but a servant. Money is a Babylonian system that was given to us to serve us, to be those people that we send on an errand. You can send money to buy you anything in this life because money is a servant. You want an aeroplane, money will go buy it for you because it is a servant. Money should never replace a man. Money should never replace a woman. Love should be something that you give because you value that person. Remember when all is said and done, 
you will be accountable for how you spend your time here on earth. So go on ahead and love regardless of money or no money or independent of money. Until I come again your way, I am Princess Pat Akwabio to take care of yourself. Bye. Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching the Princess Patapapio Show with 